Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to oblivion. We are currently in the shore of Nibbin Bay, southeast of uh, Breville, waiting for it ban watch camp, waiting for this forlorn watchman ghost to appear. He should be showing up any minute now, as it is, I believe, eight o'clock. We're four minutes to. So any second now he should appear and we'll be able to talk to him and find out what makes him so forlorn. The ghostly figure of the fallen watchman has appeared in the shore of Newham Bay. Perhaps I should watch him for a bit and see what he does. There he is. Okay, so we're just going to follow him. Can we not talk to him? The watchman ignores you when you try to speak to him. Okay. This is a good opportunity to get our sneak snonking skill up. No, maybe not. I don't think the ghost is going to attack anything, though. If anything comes and attacks us, we'll be in trouble. So I'm actually going to get my sneak snonking skill up and make sure I'm protected by staying invisible and sneaking. Because if he just wanders off into the wilderness, which it looks like he's doing, and we, we follow him and then like a troll or a bear or some other animal comes, Spriggan, let's say, comes and attacks us, then he is gonna, what's it called? Just keep walking and uh, we'll wander off and we'll lose him. Which would be really annoying. heading towards the fortress. wonder if you can pickpocket him. That would be funny. See, look, that's an imp, I think. Seems to be flying. Yeah, it's an imp. We'd have to fight that, and if it killed us, well, we'd have to fight it whilst he was um, continuing walking, see? And uh, it would be a very difficult fight, especially to pay attention to where he was going at the same time as fighting it. So it's best we stay hidden and just follow him until we know what's going on. Then we can kill stuff en route. Looks like he's going to this fortress over here. For irony, yeah. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to explore for irony. Or not, maybe I didn't have to discover that fort. Oh well, that's another fort we're going to have to come back to and explore a bit later. Yeah, he wasn't going to the fort. Oh damn, I've ex discovered something else that I didn't want to discover that I have to now explore thoroughly and clear. That's fine. We're quite good at clearing forts. If it's just bandits, then that's no problem. It's when it's undead that it becomes difficult. I was once the man known as Grantham Blink. Look for me in the mouth of the panther. Please, release me. Grantham, what? The ghost stops at somber walk at a rocky outcropping jutting into Niven Bay. He identified himself as Grantham Blakely and simply said, look for me in the mouth of the panther, please release me. Then it turned back to the bay and looked out of the water. I think it's looking that way specifically. I should try and ask Gil Gonordin about the mouth of the panther. Okay, so there's a fort down here that we now have to explore because we've discovered it. 
Um, I'm just going to check for Nern Root. There's a skeleton here. A drowned skeleton. There's the Nern Root. And the Mud Crab. Let's fast travel out of here. Let's go back to Breville. Okay. Hopefully it'll still be night. Why am I... Yeah. Spare to... Shut up, wench. It's not quite night. It's six in the morning. Which means, unfortunately... Can we go and feast on Screever? Uh, she might still be asleep. Unfortunately, everyone's going to be waking up. She's awake. Where's the door? Oh, it's here. Damn it, we got here too late. Everyone's waking up. I need to feed chat. Sure, I know what that is. Any sailor worth his weight in sea salt could tell you. The mouth of the panther is what they call the delta where the panther river meets Nibbon Bay. It got its name from the pointed rocks that jut out of the water there. Sort of looked like teeth. Mouth, panther, teeth, get it? Yeah, all right. You need to explain one plus one to me. To stay away from it, especially when it's foggy on the bay. The rocks would tear right through a ship's hull like parchment. Mm -hmm. Be glad to. Here, let me have your map, and I'll mark the spot for you. Groovy, thank you. Okay, so now we know where to go for that. Any more rumours? Never heard the name Grantham Blakely before. Means nothing to me. Sorry. Okay, any rumours? I overheard someone say that Alaron Locke is missing. Okay. I don't know what happened to him. His wife, Ersani, is beside herself with grief. Okay, that sounds promising. Yeah, Ersani's husband. Yeah! Poor thing. I've seen her crying at the chapel. I hope someone can help her. Nice, okay. Another mission. That gives us stuff to do while we're fucking around in town. Full-on watchman, Gil Gondorin. Said that the mouth of the panther is a reference to the old nautical term for the panther river and the delta where it meets at Nibbon Bay. The name was given to it by sailors because of the pointed rock formations jutting from the water that vaguely resembled teeth. He added its location to my map. I should make my way over there to unravel Grantham's cryptic message. Oh, okay. So it's literally just across the road, up, up the road from um, Nocturnal Shrine and just on the road. That's good. So we've got four irony we need to clear as well. As caught in the hunt. Excuse me, my lord. I'm sorry, Ooh, someone to has manners like this, but I'm in need of assistance, and I don't know what to do. My husband, Alaron, is missing. Is that right? It all started when Alaron became foolish and started gambling. He'd visit the arena every week and spend our hard-earned money on bets. I told him to stop, but he didn't listen. He was certain he could win us a fortune and move us somewhere nicer like the Imperial ah, City. Ah, the Gambler's Creed. It didn't take long for Alaron to begin losing. He resorted to borrowing money from a usurer to cover his losses and place new bets. What a dumbass. As you can imagine, it didn't pay off. He ended up owing around 500 gold. <laughs> 500 gold? I wiped my butt with 500 gold. Yesterday, the usurer, Curden Grow Dragle, sent for my husband to meet him at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He hasn't returned since. It was only an evening. I fear for his life. Give it a week, Curtin lady. Known for his patience. Please, I'm not wealthy. 
but I'd give anything to see Aleron again. Give it a week, lady, then you, you might be able to start worrying. You will? Oh, thank you. Please be careful. I don't wish any harm to befall you either. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. I do miss him so. And when you get... Okay, so... What mission am I on now? Caught in the hunt. Hello. City swimmer, eh? Certain. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, you're looking pretty powerful. None of your damn business. I Okay, let me tell you so? this joke. Let me tell you this joke. He hates admiration, likes boasting. So he likes horizontal. Sure. Dislikes what? vertical. Is that so? Not bad. <laughs> Not I don't talk. <laughs> That's just talk. Yeah, not now. I salute. <laughs> you can't scare me. Oh, <laughs> not now. <laughs> My life is drab and wretched by. Co <laughs> what nonsense. Such. That's just talk. I don't talk such. Such a. You're waste. Sure, that's cute. All right, I get it. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. But since you're so interested. I know something that could jar my memory. Is it a punch in the crotch? By any chance? I just learned that a family heirloom, the Axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost, is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tell me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. Interesting. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. Okay, sounds good. Then Alaron may not be coming home from his uh, journey for a very long time. Like permanently. Dick. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Mm hmm. Time's wasting. He's safe for now. Are you ready to go? Not yet. Fine. Not yet. Uh, before I go to the island, I want to go drop off stuff at uh, Wayne and Priory. But before I do that, I need to feed. Which sucks, because I can't do either right now. Seven in the morning, maybe someone's asleep in the Mages Guild, I doubt it though. No, everyone's awake. You dicks. Can't you just be asleep for five seconds? Oh well. Um I can't fast travel. I need to go empty my inventory. Well, I need to empty my inventory out anyway. Let's uh, go sell. Whoa, whoops. No, cancel, cancel, cancel. I thought it was over. What time is it? 742. Hey, I can fast travel. I guess it's so it's not um what's it called? It's not sunny enough. No, okay. I can wa Oh, okay. You can wait, but you can't fast travel. That's right. I remember. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. We've now got level 3 vampirism. 
You dream of a sumptuous banquet spread out before you. You feast on a particularly choice cut of roasted meat, and its aroma makes your mouth water. It's, it is only as you cut into the last portion that you see the larvae squirming inside. You cough blood as the larvae begin eating their way out of your stomach. Gross. As you can see, we're now losing sunlight, losing health to sunlight incredibly fucking quickly. You have to go inside to be able to heal. You'll always get a... Certainly. Uh, let's enthrall in presence her. We've now got Vampire Seduction and Reign of Terror. Um, enthralling presence. Bye. A pleasure to. Any rumors? Have you heard? Yeah, I did that. Let's do business. Dwarven arrow can go. Dwarven dagger can go. Uh, the elven longsword is only one more damage than. Oh, but it weighs twelve less. So I think I will put away Brusef Armelian's sword until we can charge it at least and keep the elven short sword. That's more than. Plus, I need healing potions. So I need to go back to Wayne and Priory before we go anywhere else. But there's obviously a problem with that in that it's bright sunshine. Ah. Or well, not bright sunshine, but you know what I mean. It's sunny. Too far to get to the Imperial City. I think I'll just wait in the Mage's Guild for a night. For a day. I don't really have a choice here. I'm taking too much sunlight damage to travel during the day. To travel normally, it's just going to be too difficult. And uh, we have to feed. And then we also have to fast travel. Hey. So let's just wait here for 12 hours, like 13 hours, till people go to sleep, 14 hours, till people sleep. Then we'll fast travel to Wayne and Priory, drop off the sword, come back with a bunch of potions and go to the island. Hello. I don't have any the Hi there. Yes, yes, you'll do. You'll do, could I? Oh, God, there's someone else here. Yes, go up to your room. Go up to your room and sleep. 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 All right, whatever, let's go. Now we can fast travel at any point. It doesn't matter that it also happens to be nighttime now, but whatever. Hello, Hello I just fed. I'm feeling good. Uh, we'll fast travel up to, all the way up to Wayne and Priory, drop off the ancestral sword of, and um, pick up some health potions. Oh, I still got the Macabre Manifest we need to show to Thor Thorinir in town. I think I'll sell the Elven Claymore. It's too heavy and yeah, we'll sell it when we get back to the thingy. That's worth selling. That's worth selling. The Copper Ring will keep to enchant. The Silver Necklace will keep to enchant. Those we need to sell when we get to... Um, we go up to Bruma because they're stolen. 
Power Hammer 31, Greater Soul Gem, Greater Grand Soul Gem, Greater in it. Uh, we'll take Potion of Healing, we'll take 10 of them. We'll take 7, Potion of Healing, that should be enough. Alright, let's go. What's my inventory looking at? 212. Oh, because I've got the Elven Claymore, that's why. I was wondering why it's so full. Right, back to Breville. No, how about a punch in the face? Good day. Let's do business. Actually, how much does she like me now? For you, 80, of course. 87. Uh, can we do it 68 then? Where's Iron Arrow? Yeah, we can. Nice. Elven Claymore, go. You've made a good bit of gold. I did, yeah. I've got 1290. 12900. Gold Diamond Ring. We can sell for You've a good amount good... of money. Jade Sapphire Ring. 1300. It's pretty good. It's not. I'm not poor, that's Thank for certain. Oh, she's got rumors. You're always... What rumors? I don't think that Gilgandril really wants to. Hmm, okay. Okay, so what are we at now in terms of weight? 168 out of 415, and we've got the enchantment as well, so that'll do. Let's go talk to this asshole, wherever he is, and uh, go to the island. Fort Swampmouth in Black Marsh, and many of the Argonian slaves have returned. Let's drop a save here, because I think this one you can't leave. It's one of the ones you, that you can't get out of once you go. Fine, I have it waiting for you at the. And uh, I want to make sure that we don't get stuck there because it sucks. If sometimes you get stuck there because the, you can't deal with it, they're too powerful. And then you haven't saved it beforehand and you lose a load of progress and it's really annoying. We should be able to deal with whatever's there, but just in case. Uh, how's, how's my armor looking in terms of repaired? 81. Helmet of power needs healing before we go. Let's go to the armor and repair it. It's just over here. Might as well go with full armor. Yes. If I can't fix it. Thank then. you. Oh dear, I'm stuck. Whatever. Really? Thank you. Arrived at Fort Grief, I should proceed inside the ruin keep and begin my search for the axe. It's lucky we fed before we came because it's fully daylight and uh, that would have been difficult to keep up. Check around for any Nern route down by the shore. No nern root, huh? Hmm. 
Nope, no nun root, as far as I can see. Okay. Nun root free island, whatever. Gate is opened elsewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh no. Oh no what? It appears as though Kurdan has tricked another poor soul with his axe story. Oh god, what's happening? You haven't guessed it yet? There never was any axe of Dragol. It was just a ruse to lure you out here. Hmm. I fell for the same trick. In my case, he told me if I retrieved the axe, he'd erase my debt. I was such an idiot to believe him. Fucking prey. You're now the prey in Kurdan's insane hunt, just like I am. And here we'll most likely die. Uh-oh. Kurdan doesn't make most of his money being a simple usurer. He also invented what he calls the Hunter's Run. People pay him a great deal of money to hunt and kill living human prey. Well, they're going to have a hard time killing me. And he takes care of the bodies. He uses the dungeons under Fort Grief as the hunting ground. I was placed here because he knew someone would go looking for me. And uh, that's me. I'm sorry you got mixed up in all of this. I hope you can fight. It's our only chance of escaping alive. Well, uh, lucky for you, I'm a hero of the realm. Don't bother. The door to this place is now locked. The only way to get out is by descending into the hunter's run and killing the hunters. Uh. One of them will have the key to the door. That's Kurdan's rules. It's the only way we can win. How do you know all this? I wish I could help more, but I can't fight. I've never held a weapon before in my life. Please, get us out of here. How on earth do you know all that? I'm not a rich man, but if we get out of here alive... Okay, that sounds good to me. Be wary, friend. Anything around that I can use? Probably not. They would have been smart to clear it. Any treasure chests with loot in them? Treasure chests over there. It's hard locked as well. Please tell me it has the key in it and they never thought that someone would come all the way up to the roof to explore and discover it. Shadow Banish Wine. Nice. I'll take those. Yeah, thank you. So we've got four now. We only need uh, two more. And we can hand in the mission. Alright, well they didn't know that they've gone and caught a vampire in their trap. So they're going to be f completely fucked. Question mark. He's already en route. Okay, there's an enemy right in front of us already. Okay, this guy looks solid as solid as balls. Ow. Get out of there. Let the zombie deal with it. This guy's pretty hard. He's already taken off like half my health in a couple of hits. Gonna have to paralysis him. Oh, there's arrows here. Just to get in the door, I'm going to paralysis this guy and then hack him up as soon as I can. The zombie should still be in there. Nope, zombie's down. So it looks like they don't chase you outside. That's something at least. Ow.
I miss. I miss. God damn it. Oh, he is coming outside. Shit. Run and hide on this island. Teehee. Now what are you going to do? I will use my archery to defeat you, sir. Yeah, you better run. using the steel longsword when I got the elven longsword. Let's get the paralysis out. Is he killing the other guy? He is. Please don't kill him. I need him alive. No, he's dead. Uh, okay, so yeah, we need to we need to keep him alive. So let's load the quick save. We need to paralyze this guy. Yeah, we need to paralyze him. Let's glass arrow him for maximum damage. Get the elven short sword out and the paralysis. We need to just kill him, hack him to pieces before he can do anything. Because we're stuck in the doorway, we've got no way to like put, fall back or anything because of that. Summon a zombie to do extra damage and then we get immobilized back up. Good one, zombie. Ebony short sword. Jeez. Let's go. Like I was kitted out. Right. Heal up. Repair. Ebony short sword does way more damage. That's really useful. Thank you for that. The other one was magic. It's a shame we didn't kill the one that was magic. But whatever. We still got pretty good gear out of that. Okay, it can't be because you need a key. That must be the key that... Yeah, okay. Looks like there's a rat just around this corner. Either that or someone asleep. No, there's a couple of rats. I was going to say, I saw those up there. Whoa, close one. And the next one.
bed roll, healing potion. This should be not not necessarily easy, but doable based on the fact that we have paralysis. Okay, there's a pit here. You can see it on the floor. Okay, so we can probably use that as well if we need to. Enemy there. Where does this lead to? This leads, seems to lead down. Okay. This leads down into the water that was down here, I suppose, yeah. Any chests down here? Anything that's worth having? No. Nope, okay. Oh, no room. Okay, and this is the pit. I see, gotcha. So we can utilize the pit if we want. They can't actually get to us if we just jump over the pit. Okay, that's a poison trap. We're immune to poison. Silly fools didn't realize they've gone and captured themselves a vampire. <laughs> this is easy. This is child's play. This is simple. Oh shit, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh shit. Let's just run and hide like a little girl. Jump over the pit. Haha. <laughs> now he's just going to keep falling down the pit. Let's uh, fireball him as he comes up. <laughs> you fucking idiot. There you go, he's dead. Oh shit, I almost fell down the pit as well. Right, that's him down. Let's go see what he had on him. What an idiot. Ebony longsword, nice. Elven shield, elven stuff. Weak potion of healing. I will take all of that, thank you, you dummy. Uh, let's repair everything. So we've got an ebony longsword for even more damage now. Very nice. What's around here? Nothing, I suppose. Just the poison. Okay, the other... There's no one around us. We can tell because we can see through the walls. Being a vampire and all. Being a vampire truly has its perks. Ooh, repair hammer. Couple of rats ahead. Or crabs. Looks like rats, yeah. We kill them in one hit now. Nice. What does that do? Oh, more poison. More poison, I should imagine, out of these. Yep. I'm immune to poison. Lightning load. Potion of insulation. Very good. Why are all these bed mats, roll mats out so people can sleep and rest and recover? 
Okay, there's someone over there. Okay, let's uh, do the same again. Short bow. Uh, let's save it. Okay, he barely took any damage from that asshole. This guy's probably going to be quite beastly. You need to paralyze him. Paralyze him and hack him to pieces before he can do anything. Yeah, he's wearing orcish armor and we're not doing any damage to him, even with an ebony longsword. Where'd he go? I think he's stuck. He's down there. Is he stuck? Can he not get out? Is he going to drown? Oh, here we go. Ow! Ow! How did he hit me from there? Oh, there's, oh shit, there's stairs. There's stairs. I need to paralyze him again or he's going to kill me. Um. He's going to heal, kill me if I don't heal. Um, potion of healing, potion of healing, potion of healing. Won't you die? I need a potion of magic or he's going to kill me. I missed. Oh, I missed the paral paralysis. He's wearing full orcish armor. Jeez. This chamber's not exactly suited for um, combat. I think I might just run away. Fuck it. Let's just go back to the pit. Ow. Ah. Ow. He has to run through all the traps. Might be able to hold him here. No, I've got my bow out. I forgot I had my bow and I tried to pull my shield out and block. Let's just run away and use the pit. He should follow us. Yeah, he's following us. Right, what are you going to do now, fucker? Yeah, you're going to fall down the hole. You're going to fall down the hole and get killed, just like the ass guy did. You asshole. <laughs> Tee hee. Fucking hell, he's got a lot of health. He survived a lot more than the last guy did. The last guy died after two fucking trips. This should kill him, though. Yep, got him. Defeated all the hunters. I should search the body of the orc hunter for the key to the keep door of Fort Grief. Okay, nice. That wasn't too bad, actually. Ebony mace, ebony shield, glass arrow, ebony boots, orcish, got the key, uh, we're now over encumbered so I need to cast my encumbrance spell, ease burden, still over encumbered, yikes, repair hammer, so what have we got? We want to keep everything because it's all ebony. Ebony boots, curious, greaves, shield. 
The Ebony Shield weighs 21 and does 14 defense. Our shield weighs 14. Uh, so the Ebony Shield is better than the Tower of the Nine. That's disappointing. Uh, okay, we can drop the... Let's drop the Arena Heavy Raiment because that's not worth anything. And it does what? It weighs 72 and it does 11 defense. That's it. Whereas this, the Ebony stuff, does 11 defense just on the Curias, let alone with the boots and the greaves and the gloves and everything else. So let's drop the Arena Heavy Raiment and we can now move. Uh, we're going to equip the ebony stuff. Ebony boots, curious, greaves, orcish gauntlets. And I would equip... What's the helmet? It weighs nine and gives three defense. Well, the helmet of power gives three defense. It only weighs seven and it gives us 15 magic. So we're going to keep that on. And we've still got 60, 60 weight. So that's good. Do we have anything we want to drop? Elven boots. Eh, they're only weighing six. Elven gauntlet. Yeah, we want to keep all of this stuff. Yeah, we want to sell it. Okay. F5, 5C. Nice. We probably want to get our sword out now. Our ebony long sword. Steel Longsword does 11 damage. Ebony does 19. So it's quite a significant difference. It's like 8 difference per hit. That's like 50% difference, 60%, 70% difference. We're a bit slower now though. Because we're wearing a heavier raiment. I thought we were immune to poison. Maybe it's different kind of gas. Maybe because it's direct gas and not just poison. Uh, let's have a look around here for anything. Any treasure chests in here? No, it's just a very awkward and difficult to fight in arena. Yeah, whatever. He's dead now, so. Ooh, what's down here? <gasps> treasure chest. Lots of bones and a treasure chest with 51 gold in it. I will take that. What's over here? Just the way out. Nothing else. Nothing down here. Nothing up there. Okay. Very good. Very good. So that was pretty simple actually in the end. Oh, and takes us back to the bridge. Okay. Cool. No problemo. This lot cannot be picked. You need a key. Oh. I thought we had all the keys. Maybe the guy out here has one and he's fucking us around. Uh, I want to save. F5. Oh, I can't move. Oh. Oh, splat! <laughs> that guy got fucking wrecked. Okay, so we... I think we're going to have to fight this guy, obviously. So we need to ease burden. For as long as possible. We need night knife night vision to disappear because it's now night time. Uh daytime. Oh wait, how are we doing for time? Uh we're coming yeah, what time is it now in, in the game? Six twenty eight, okay, so we will want night vision in a moment. But guys, we're coming to the end of the episode, so rather than start a battle, which I'm not going to be able to finish in time, I think now's a natural ending point that I'm going to stop the episode at for the moment. 
And I will pick up tomorrow morning where we leave off now. And we're going to fight this guy and kill him for being such an annoying prick. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. I do hugely appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed playing. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Hopefully I will see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sal, wait till next time.